Nyeri County no longer content to be silent. Men and women joined in Thursday's nationwide protest to press their members of parliament to reject the finance bill of 2024. But these protests were unlike those of the past in many ways, as you'll hear in this report. There was once a man called Zakias, a tax collector. He climbed a tree to catch a glimpse of the Son of God. And when he came down, he met his salvation. A biblical tale adopted as a metaphor by these protesters in Nyeri on Thursday. And their message was unmistakable. Either the tax collector, President William Ruto in this case, comes down or they will bring him down for the salvation of Kenya. An amusing scene to watch, but behind it, very real anger. First of all, I need to send this message. We are not our mothers and fathers. We are not our mothers and fathers. Them themselves, they have actually told us to piganie. Those are the ones they're telling us to piganie sisi to mechoka yeah, with the government. And that's that to choke. In Kikuyu, we say to Namayo, we are very energetic for this. This is a revolution. Okay? It doesn't stop here until 2027. We are going now to amend the mistakes that our parents did. The trigger, the finance bill of 2024. <laughs> finance bills yet they were yes, they were there but this one is over taxation this is greed who would have thought that gen z would step out from behind the keyboard and put their parents to shame as the gen z we are informed let me tell you we are well informed we have our gadgets we have access to internet we do research we do these interpretations for our mothers and our fathers to tell them even our guardians ikitu in simple terms in mwanainchi terms let me tell you iko hivi na hivi na hivi one of the mobilizers of Thursday's Occupy Nyeri protest over the tax measures contained in the finance bill of 2024 was 23-year-old Joan Wambwe Kimunya, already a revolutionary. A generation steeled to amend their parents' complacency and reject suppression. Now you're going to tax this one. Already in Kenya, about 65% of girls in Kenya and young women and girls, and girls in Kenya, they are not able to afford these parts. We are living in period of poverty already. We have a whole senator who is pulling stunts, but coming and imposing something on something that is not even affordable. What is that supposed to mean? Even the nature of the protests are revolutionary. <laughs> they are very clear in their mission, their power, and their message. And they intend to speak in one voice. We are one village. Kama ni kijiji, kijiji yetu yote ni moja, Gen Z. Our tribe is, is Kenya, our village is Kenya. Inspiring even the generation that came before them. 30-year-old economist Ed Gitonga, who is employed in the Matatu sector, has also had his fill of an unfeeling government. When we see some sort of expenditures that these, the political elite are doing, and then we see that that whole expenditure is coming out from our pocket, yet we cannot see something. I wish at least, I, I wish they, they would really focus on development. They will no longer be silenced and they will use whatever tools are at their disposal. Reject, reject, bravo, reject, reject, reject. Olive Burrows, Citizen TV.